So lately, I've seen a lot of you post on social media that no one needs an AR. I've seen it, I don't know how many times a day. And I'm here to tell you, you're absolutely right. So here is a nine millimeter AR pistol. Same with a nine millimeter. What this shoots is your standard nine millimeter round, as you can see right there. I have one 31 round magazine for it. You can buy magazines in larger capacity, you can buy them in smaller capacity. I happen to have one magazine for this gun. I use this gun if I feel like going out in my backyard and I wanna just shoot some holes in some paper, just to practice my shooting on an AR style gun because it's a lot cheaper to shoot this than it is another, say, 223 or 308 AR. And if the need would happen to come, I could use it as a self-defense gun. I've got a 31 round magazine. Hopefully that day would never come, but if it does come, I tell you what, I'm gonna be prepared. So, next, what we have is we have a AR rifle chambered in 556-223. That shoots your standard 5.56 five, or 223 round, which looks exactly the same. I've got 30 round magazines for it. This, my first AR, first gun I ever purchased. I still have this gun because people have never shot and that I offer. If you want to shoot, come shoot. I will show you what it's about. I will show you that it's not meant to harm people, that you could go to the range, you could shoot at targets, and when you're having a good shooting day, you feel good about yourself. Uh, actually, people say, oh, you can't hunt with an AR. Well, I tell you what, you can. I killed my first buck with this gun, and honestly, it was one of the best days of my life. So yes, this gun can be hunted with. I keep it primarily as a, like I said, let my friends shoot it. I shoot it just if I want to plink at things 50 to 100 yards um, that I'm just wanting to go out and enjoy a day at the range. So, this is a 223 Wild Barrel AR. Same thing. I shoot a 223 round out of it. This happens to be a 55 grain bullet. Right now out of this gun, I reload for it and I shoot a 69 grain bullet. I have this gun with this scope because there's times that I want to do long range. And by long range with this gun, I'm talking maybe about the 600 yards of getting the very best group that I can. So I didn't get in the guns till five years ago maybe. And anybody that knows me will tell you the way I shoot now compared to the way I shot then, I've come a long way. Pretty much all of it is self-taught. Watch videos, talk to people, but just going out and doing it. It's a hobby for me. It's something I enjoy. I don't want to hurt anybody. I don't want to shoot anything other than an animal if I'm going to harvest it for food on my table. Or if I just want to go out and get the very best group that I can because for me it's a pride thing. It shows that the things that I'm doing, it's working. My reloads are getting better. I'm doing what I should be doing for reloading. So that's my third AR. Then, lastly, I have a Bushmaster 450. And that's why you always check a gun. These guns sit in my safe when I'm at all times. Unless I've got this gun and I'm going to shoot it, I take this gun with me. You always want to check it before you handle it. Make sure that it's clear, but you always treat it like it's loaded. Now this is a Bushmaster 450 AR. It's just different stock, different size barrel. What this gun shoots is a 250 grain projectile. As you can see, it's a lot bigger. A bigger bullet 
and what this gun is used for, and it comes with a 10 round magazine. I don't believe you could get anything bigger for this gun other than a 10 round magazine. This is the AR that I would hunt with. In North America, any animal out to 200 yards, so bear, elk, whatever you're talking about in North America, this would be the gun I would take to hunt with. So for all those people that say you don't need an AR, I just wanna say you're right, I don't need an AR. Me personally, I need four ARs. And as I just showed you, they each have their own purpose. So before you start telling people what they should or shouldn't have, just consider that for a moment. Thank you.